Here are Randall Stevenson's AT&T conducting harassment techniques in your neck of the woods documented with their decibel law breaking spectrum and it's easy to document even if you don't see them conducting harassment techniques that's your family's lifeline it's not working as I try to tell you day in day out, day out as I tell you day in day out for over a decade excuse me not one nine eleven flight ninety three check in over a decade of asking. That's a lot of man censorship conducted without fear of being covered by the even news. Get Russ uh, Randall, excuse me, on video. Russell is the uh, false prophet of the Utah, who's also involved, but he doesn't get paid by you to have your lifeline not work in front of. Uh, you making a video. Make that video of Randall. His active participation in America's Hijack Lifeline. The reason AT&T is built so high, they have to conduct religious harassment, political harassment, business harassment methods. Uh, like the, the noise affecting four apartment complexes because of one man living here, me, in a wheelchair telling the truth about your AT&T phone. Make a video of it not working as you try to call me, those hijacking your calls to me. John Melton Brady, Melton, are worried enough about their crimes to alter phone records to cover them up, so get that on video. Randall being worse than just incompetent, he's threatening the security of America undermining America's security by their phones not allowed to work. Get phone gate. Randall Stevenson's AT&T's phone gate on video post. See a vapor trail in the sunset? 9-11, flight 93, checking posted by 424-229-4140. And yes, Call up Randall Stevenson, CEO of AT&T, especially if you're one of those 150 million folks paying him to do a job he's not doing. Because if you can't reach me right now, 424-229-4140, you have no idea when else that phone won't be allowed to work. So document Russell's political, religious, and business censorship with that. And yes, he's also conducting harassment techniques against me and a, a man in a wheelchair who's been asking for a 9-11 flight 93 check for over a decade that you know when your phone works all the time because you're calling me to check America's life lines. Make that video, post that video of you with Russ, oh, Randall, excuse me, Stevenson on speakerphone. And you want to know why America's lifelines are not working when you call Melt, John Melton Bridge. 4260 Eagle Rock Boulevard, Corbett 49, Los Angeles, California, 90065. No certified mail in that decade of asking. No non certified mail. No FedEx, no UPS. Without those 93 checks or any of my imagery, get that on video. Your mail before you send it. And ask Randall why he's taking part in America's hijack lifelines endangering our security with that lifeline censorship of his. There's Sandy Monica's spectrum chart. Oh, I mentioned it, I think, in a purple one. It's taken off. I'm melting. 
make videos. We got some drugs from Spectrum illustrating the traitors. Uh, not all, of course, I'm sure, I would hope. Uh, generals taunting a man in a wheelchair who's been telling the world about 9 11 flight 93 checks for over a decade. Make that video of you calling up every general, every colonel, every officer, every spectral across the country, every Utah Colt. They use a lot of great cards. And uh, trying to call me via speakerphone with them, asking, what's your part in my family, our country, so I take lifelines. The general and others don't know anything about 9 11 Flight 93 checks after I, Melton, have been asking for them for over a decade and have yet to get one, no certified mail either. They don't know they are involved or they are incredibly incompetent. Get that on video. Today. Oh, my devil, Lori, one has disappeared. I swore that was it. That's that vegetarian cult that... Uh, has been a part of uh, hijacking America's lifelines by showing me the character. Among others, Dignity Health, LAC, USC, Keck Medical, and I'm doing what I can to point out any folks with uh, yeah, dangerous parts of the military to be terrorists in so that I can get decent medical help. You know, should a man in a wheelchair need I sure didn't get much. All they did was, uh, during my insulin poisoning of last year, all they did was show me how easily it is to control my pain. And then they uh, showed that character, not giving me the proper pain treatment. Get that video of you calling up the general and finding out if he is a true general or he is incompetent or he is very involved in America's high-tech lifelines as in with Spectrum here. Get them on video. Being traitors to the country. We need to get them out, get those in. Who will protect America. Here Mormons harassment techniques and they've showed me tauntingly in that Laurie and Brady Bond way of taunting that they can turn that thing off, the backup noise, several vehicles. Two just today. With that noise of religious censorship, lifeline censorship turned off. Make that video called a spectrum murderer, spectrum rapist, spectrum or Mormon crime of any kind. It doesn't matter what the crimes are if your phone's not allowed to work when the Mormons are casing your neighborhood and you make a video of them outside like I'm making a video of that. Closing the door on the van there and walking on in and just made a video of that uh, harassment technique with the van there. Make that video. Mormons casing your neighborhood. Why are they casing there? Uh, most of your neighbors are at work when they're casing. And make that video of your lifeline not work. Especially if you cut Spectrum's phone as your lifeline. 424-229-4140. Call it whatever you want. I've been calling it for years. The 911 Flight 93 check. Have yet to get one. Make the video. Post the video. Whatever you get when you don't get me. Melton. Got the timestamp on the phone. You got the number dialed. Those hijacking your calls to me are worried enough about their crimes getting caught for them that they alter phone records covered up. Get the Mormons, Spectrums, Husseins, and Trumps 
phone gate on video right now. 4260 Igorak Boulevard, Apartment 409, Los Angeles, California, 90065. John Melton Bray is a full name. Make that video whatever you get when you don't get me. Post it. And yes, vote-truth.blogspot.com is where you can find these things. As 4 by 6 is for sure, if not this 8 by 10 hand them out to your neighbors. Tell them we're going to get the Mormons to write us off their cult sales route. And call up Spectrum's uh, offices. Make videos of your hijack call in front of all Spectrum employees. 424-229-4140. Why are you conducting harassment techniques against the man in the wheelchair? What other crimes are you involved in, Spectrum? Yeah, sometimes I'll just park outside the window and turn on that noise. And yes, they are able to turn it off. So call up AT&T, especially if you've got their phone as your lifeline. And 911 Flight 93, check and post in 5. That's you making a video of your call to me. Whatever you get when you don't get me. Those hijacking your calls to me are worried enough about their crimes to alter phone records to cover them up. You get that on video. AT&T's phone gave. As well as, yes, Hussein and Trump's. I'm not a fan of either. And make sure you call up that general. It's about national security. If they don't know what a 911 Flight 93 check is after I've done all kinds of graphic art, all kinds of videos, asking America to check their lifelines, and I have yet to get one, call no certified, no non certified mail either. Ask that general. If he does not know what a 911 Flight 93 check is, he's involved or he's incompetent. Get that on video. And hand out those numbers of AT&T's execs, CEO, and get them on video. What is your, are you planning a revolution, AT&T, that you need to hijack lifelines? And you get AT&T, a monopoly that it is, on video, being a danger to America. Post. We the people must be the reporters. They're not doing their jobs. It's easy to do. Takes five minutes. Make that video with your phone of someone else's lifeline not allowed to work as you try to call me. And yes, worried enough to alter those phone records. That's what they are. Get it on video. Certify that mail as well. And ask the general, how does mail disappear out of a post office? Do you have anything to do with that? Milton Hanson Ball Guy. Well, hello, Matt. Hel Milton Hanson Ball Guy. You're doing great work. I've seen those purple videos. Your new graphic card is great. 28,000 graphic card photos. www.daffodelia.blogspot.com for one. Keep up the good work. Talk to you later. Yeah, you have to uh, keep the California Lifeline phone active. It's not worth much. I've noticed when the Mormons are on hand with their hatred noise, it, it's almost impossible 
to get that thing to work. Oh, it's not like, uh, oh, there's a the number right there. 213675. 2138. It's not like it doing me any good uh, calling up the Drunk LA Fire Department. That's with their active part. They're right over there. If you can see a flag, it, one of the flags up there is them. Not like you can actually go to a hospital if you're telling the truth about America's high tech lifelines. Make that video 424 229 4140. Do that Mormon rapist, spectrum, harassment, noise. Oh, it's not specific with a rapist. It's just a generalized crime. When you see the Mormons casing or you see spectrum in your neighborhood, you check that lifeline of yours. 424-229-4140. If your phone doesn't work right then, as you're trying to call me, and no one's reached me with a 911 Flight 93 check in over a decade of asking. Yeah, you're not certain it's going to work when you really need it to work. So get that video, post that video, whatever you get when you don't get me. Come see me in person. Hand out those Mormons, beware. Images and make those videos of them casing your neighborhood. They're outside, going up and down, and mostly empty. What, just a maybe a college student or a retired couple, and everybody else is off working. You got them outside, you got the number dialed, you got the timestamp on your phone, those hijacking your calls to me, worried enough about their crimes to alter phone records to cover them up. Get that on video. The Mormons, Husseins, Trumps, and uh, the military generals phone gate. Yes, uh, hijack lifelines are a matter of security, aren't they? document your phone not working as you try to call me. Certify your mail as well. Not 193 taken over a decade. No certified mail. No non-certified mail. No FedEx, no UPS about those 93 checks I haven't gotten. In over a decade. Get that on video. Yes, he does have Mormons beware. And Semper Fi. World Trade Center Flight 93 check in his window. And because I just made a video about Dana, a victim of rape, making a video of your hijack call to me, illustrating your phone does not work as the Mormon missionary, those dangerous cult members from Utah are casing her neighborhood. And why are they doing that when most of her neighbors are at work? Make that video of your phone. Your family's life on not working as the Mormons are casing outside. And yes, it took nine attempts to post to Instagram. We're at the, the phone's battery doing that. Make that video as the Mormons are bit slapping the military and LA, LA's finest. Here in Eagle Rock. Oh, I had a nice video of a black and white helicopter, a police helicopter up there earlier. I don't think they like that, so they're bit slapping them now. Make that video, post that video of dangerous Mormons with and without their Muslim brothers in Utah. Remember when you hear Spectrum's traitorous part in America's eyes, hijack lifelines? Remember, they're different than lots of other traitors you're going to meet because they're in your living room with that modem, with that phone. Remember, it's their phone when they're supplying it to you. Your family's lifeline. You get every Spectrum executive 
manager, you get them on video as you are 911, light 93, checking and posing, not one, 911, light 93, checking over a decade of asking. That's a lot of men censorship conducted without fear of being covered by the evening news. We the people must be the evening news. Get Spectrum. They demonstrated just a while ago that they can turn that noise off. And they are between four apartment complexes. Their harassment techniques are pointed at the man in a wheelchair telling everyone the truth that America's had take life funds for over a decade. Get them on video as you are trying to call me. That certified mail as well it points to the military style of harassment means traitorous generals misusing their authority to stab privates and their families in the back as they go into battle for them. Make that video of America's hijacked lifelines and ask that general, are you involved or are you incompetent? The man's been asking for a 911 flight 93 check for a decade. Those hijacking calls to him are worried enough about their crimes to alter phone records covered up. General, are you involved? Are you incompetent? What are you doing? What have you done? Get the uh, traitorous ones out so we can start building a better America, better world. Surprised he didn't go to Toledo and start backing up. And it's not zooming in. Trying to zoom in on the license plate and it will not zoom in. This is the devil's Chinese camera. I'm sure many. Cameras on the uh, streets can get it. It zoomed it. Maybe it didn't zoom in as much as it should. They disappeared. The backup noise, part of AT&T's harassment of a man in a wheelchair because of his truth about their active participation in America's hijack lifelines. Get it on video. Those hijacking calls to me, 44-229-4140, are worried enough about their crimes to alter phone records to cover it up. Get it on video, 44-229-4140. Call up Randall Stevenson and try to call me with your wife's phone, your daughter's phone, your friend's phone, with Randall on or any executive is a big company. On speakerphone, ask them what is their part in America's IJK Lifeline, your lifeline that you're paying them money. Four, not working. Get the reaction. Be the reporter. Post. Here AT&T conducting harassment of a man in a wheelchair who's been telling you to check your family's life on for over a decade and has yet to get one. 9-11 flight 93 check. That's uh, Randall's Randall Stevenson's AT&T's harassment because I've been telling the truth about his company's hijacking of America's lifelines. AT&T's got 150 million customers. If you're one of them, you need to call them up and find out why your family's lifeline's not allowed to work because of Randall. Censorship and post, those hijacking your calls to me are worried enough about getting caught for their crimes that they are altering phone records to cover them up. 
So you ask AT&T about those altered phone records, and you ask Randall Stevenson, what is your part in that? Why are you compromising the security of America by hijacking America's lifelines? Make the video of whatever he tells you and post. See a helicopter? 9-11, Flight 93, check-in, post and five. You're trying to call me, Milton. And you want to know why America's lifelines are being hijacked. When you do. Not one, 9-11, Flight 93, check-in, over a decade of asking. Call up AT&T's Randall Stevenson, CEO. And if you're one of 150 million folks who pay Randall to do a job, ask him why your family's lifeline is not allowed to work because of political, religious, and business censorship conducted very personally lately. But I haven't gotten that 93 check in a decade of asking. They're worried enough about their crimes to alter phone records to cover them up. And yes, every time you hear Spectrum's harassment noise in a video of mine, that is Randall's harassment, military style harassment. So you ask him why your lifeline, your family's lifeline, is not allowed to work, and when else it won't be allowed to work with that unnewsworthy censorship. Post. We the people must be the reporters. They're not doing their jobs. Call them up. Try to call me in front of them. In person or via speakerphone. Same as with the generals. Especially with the generals and that AT&T executive. If you can't reach me and they don't know what a 911 Flight 93 check is. With all the imagery I've got out for the past decade about that yeah they're involved or they're incompetent get that on video here AT&T conducting harassment military style harassment techniques against a man in a wheelchair who's been telling you about your hijacked lifeline those stealing your calls to me guys are worried enough about their crimes to alter phone records to cover them up. Get that on video. Four two four two two nine four one four zero. Call me up with uh, CEO Randall Stevenson on speakerphone. And ask, do you know about the man who's been asking for 9-11 Flight 93 checks for over a decade? And a lot of your 150 million subscribers have tried to call him and seen your political, religious, and business censorship affecting their security. What do you know about that, Randall? Those hijacking our calls to Milton are worried enough about that to alter phone records to cover them up, but we've got it on video. What's your part in that, Randall? Also ask generals, are you involved or are you incompetent? You, they don't know what a 9-11 Flight 93 check is after I've been asking for over a decade. Uh, yeah, they're incompetent at best. At worst, they're traitors, undermining the security of America, be they in the phone industry or the military. Those generals, get them on video. You asking them about me, Melton, John Melton. Remember, when you hear or see Spectrum, excuse me, AT&T, they own Spectrum, being this obvious in taunting a man in a wheelchair who's been telling you about your hijacked lifeline, your family's hijacked lifelines, that means you need to call up that monopoly. All executives, all CEOs, AT&T, yes, 150 million subscribers. And you get their reaction to your phone that you pay them good money for not working as you try to call me. 424-229-4140. And you ask him, what's your active part in America's IJ Likewise?
Make that video, post that video, whatever you get when you don't get me. With them on speakerphone. Those hijacking your calls to me are worried enough about that to alter phone records to cover them up. And, uh, yeah, get Hussein's, Trump's, and AT&T's phone gate on video. Come see me in person. Have wit wit travel. Send me a place uh, where I can tell you how to document AT&T's threat to America. That's the second time. Making up a whole long way. Yeah, uh, yeah it takes a while for me to get the camera up. So it's a noise harassment and they have shown me about eight times now. Week, just over a week that they can turn that off. And they should. This close to two apartment complexes. But uh, the general wants them to harass a man in a wheelchair so they have it on. And yes, especially the ones that occur at night. The decibel level in the audio of this video is lowered. They're worried. But I hear there are all kinds of folks making documentaries. And it sticks out like a sore thumb when it is lowered in my video. Yes, my flicker is not backing up and they took good money from me after yeah, I, I uploaded a lot of stuff to them. Then they changed their uh, policy. Taunting a man in a wheelchair whose livelihood is hijacked. Well, theirs is not. And I've got to make a check and post. And videos I've made of them, this, not backing up. Is not uh, showing up. Videos I've made about Flickr. Check and post in five in front of Flickr. is not showing up. Let me demonstrate. Those aren't showing up. I'm assuming that's unreal. I'm assuming that uh, the public is not seeing these videos in the same way I'm not and I've had to juggle, I've had to take a lot of extra steps to give them plenty of time to back up and I've paid them once again good money so check and post in five in front of Flickr, all Flickr employees most especially those executives, and ask him, what is your part? In America's hijack lifelines taunting Melton. John Melton, Britain man in a wheelchair. Yes, this is my third attempt to do this because Chinese losers keep changing copy to move. I have to leave this on the phone because Flickr does not back up like... Uh, Dan says moving.
Why is it moving? Yeah. That is stupid as damn shit. <laughs> <laughs>